today to tell us what is new in Laguna Woods. Jennifer, thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Amy. So exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> well, and I am lucky because I get the privilege of talking with you every yeah, couple times a month. We do, we don't just, we? Yes. yes. Amy writes a wonderful health column, Healthy Living for oh, the Globe. Oh, thank you. And we just love it and our readers really enjoy it. Oh, thank you. It is a privilege for me to be able to do it. Thank you. So you are here to tell us about a few new things that are going on in Laguna Woods. Yes, I think probably the biggest thing happening right now is the gate access security program. Uh -huh. um, there is a uh, pilot project. They're starting at gates five and six. Mm -hmm. And um, if the pilot is successful, then they're going to implement it throughout the community. Wow. Yeah, so um, it's really exciting. Um, the, um, you know, the, it kind of has sparked a little bit of debate in the community. Um, some okay. people feel that the price tag of 1.5 million for the entire community is um, is pretty high for a community that's already really safe. I mean, mm -hmm. last year, I think the community counted um, 115 thefts and two burglaries the entire year. We have, oh. I think, one of the, the lowest um, crime rates in the county. Mm -hmm. We have, I believe, eight crimes per thousand residents. So that's pretty low. That is very low. Yeah. I live in San Clemente in a very oh. safe neighborhood, and it's it's higher than that. Mm -hmm. So that that's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. So some people feel that the community is already safe enough, mm -hmm. um, and other people feel that um, it's important to be able to monitor who is coming in and out of the community and when they are coming mm -hmm. in and out of the community. So it's it sparked a lot of debate mm -hmm. at the board meetings. Interesting. Um, yeah. So I understand also there's another issue that some people feel like they might lose their jobs with this system. Is that yes. right? Yes. Right now we have um, what we call gate ambassadors. These are residents who work for Golden Rain Foundation that are um, stationed at each of the gates and they um you know, allow the um, vendors and the guests, you know, to come through and uh, in one lane, and then the far lane is for residents who have a sticker on their mm -hmm. on their vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of them are worried that they're going to lose their jobs. But I have been assured by John Luby, who's the GRF chair of this committee, um, that no, they will not be losing their jobs. Okay. They are definitely needed because they still need a person to man the gate, mm -hmm. to um, operate the software, the printer, to print out the the. Um, gate passes right. um, for the vendors and the guests. So they are absolutely not going to lose their job. That's great. Yeah, that's good news. Okay, that is good news. So the the issue of whether the $1.5 million um, should be implemented, that is a heated debate, but we don't need to worry about job loss. We don't need to okay. worry about that. And okay. the, um, the pilot project uh, on gates five and six is mm -hmm. supposed to roll out um, probably September 1st is what they're hoping for. Um, okay. They are out for bids right now in the system. And and they expect the bids to come in this week. They will make a decision most likely at the GRF board meeting next week. Okay, all right. So, so, so we'll they're have ready some to resolution. Roll. We'll have some resolution. And if the pilot is successful, they hope to implement it at the rest of the other, um, I think there's 13 gates in the community by the end of the year. That's oh, what they're hoping for. Okay, so. all right. So, so some possibly big changes. Yes, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. All right, I think there's another, we have another big change. We do. Up, we right? have, um, this is kind of a long term, long time uh, renovation. It's been ongoing for almost a year now at Clubhouse 2. Okay. Um, so that is coming to a conclusion. Um, they are set to, I think, finish construction around the middle of August. And um, then after that, they are going to um, have the interior designers come in and um, do work their magic. Wow, you know, that's and, great. Um, and that the budget for um, the interior design, from what I understand, is about 200000 Okay. Um, it's a little bit higher than they had anticipated because they decided to go with all new furniture, furniture and chairs and mm. tables and that everything. That would be so nice, Oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, so um, they hope to have a grand um, gala reopening probably uh, first week in September is what I'm being told. Well, that's great. Um, and, and the project right now is a little bit over budget, though. Um, the original budget was, I believe, $4.2 mm -hmm. and it's up around $7.1 right now. I see. Um, they w did a demolition in December and went in and found a lot of repairs were needed to bring the building up to code. They found um, rotted wood, termite damage, concrete damage, um, electrical wire repairs that were needed to bring it to code. Okay, so that so. was the reason for the for the increase in price. Right, and I there's see. been some delays too. I guess um, they had to rerun some um, electrical lines that weren't up to code, and um, they had some uh, delays in the permitting permitting process with the city. Okay. So um, it's I guess the opening is about three weeks behind. Okay. Um, 
But almost done. We're getting there. Almost done. Okay. Yes. Yes. Great. <laughs> Great. Exciting. So, is there any is there any other building being renovated there right now? There is actually. Okay. I'm glad you asked. Right. Um, Clubhouse Three, which has our lovely main stage where mm -hmm. all the um, wonderful entertainment comes out mm -hmm. of, um, they have given it a name change. It's now called the Laguna Woods Performing Arts mm -hmm. Center, and um, GRF did that because they would they hoped it would attract bigger names and better entertainment. Not that the entertainment hasn't been good, but um, it just sounds a little better to be performing at a performing arts center rather yes. than Clubhouse 3. So um, if you go over there now, you'll see the new signage on the building. And um, along with that, they will be doing some renovation this summer. They've hired a consultant to come in and kind of prioritize what needs to be done in the theater. Um, I know they talked about new rigging apparatus um, because I guess the uh, equipment they have now is, is really old and okay. isn't working well. Um, they're going to do some revamp of the lobby area. Okay. And um, are we going to get new padded seats? Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. I don't know if that's <laughs> on the uh, priority list. It would be nice, though. Uh -huh. Um, and they're planning to roll out some new entertainment. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Do we yeah. have a sneak peek into what that is? We have one thing that's coming in July, I think, is a uh, magic show. Really? So that should oh, be how fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so. that, I love magic shows. Yeah. That, I'm a sucker for magic shows. Every time I go to Las Vegas, <laughs> I go see one. <laughs> yeah, they're really popular. So oh, um, great. I think the residents will, will like it, what's coming. So, who were some of the entertainers last year? Well, we had the Champagne Pop series, and I did go to their last show. That was called Four by Four, and it, it was straight out of Las Vegas. Wow. And it was a tribute to, uh, let's see, there was the Be Beatles, the Bee Gees, um, Motown, and one other. <laughs> I can't remember, but it was fabulous. That was that really sounds wonderful. Really yeah, fun. Champagne Pops puts on a, a really nice series. Um, community concerts. Uh -huh. um, they put on a concert um, every summer for, or uh, every Sunday for. I think I don't know most of the most of the winter mm -hmm. um, that goes on. And um, like I said, GRF is planning some mm -hmm. some surprises and some new entertainment. This will be so a lot of fun. fun. This will be really a lot of fun. Yeah. Good. And when is this scheduled to be finished? Um, it is scheduled to be finished probably around the beginning of October, and they're planning to have, again, a grand gala reopening okay. around mid-October. So. Okay, great. So that'll be fun. We'll look so. forward to that then. Yes, it's fun to watch all the changes here in the village and, um, you know, see all the neat things that mm -hmm. residents get to do. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> well, thank you for letting us sure. know what's going on in Laguna yeah. Woods. I'd like to also direct people to The Globe. Jennifer does an amazing job as the editor of The Globe. So if you want to know anything about what is going on in Orange County as well as in Laguna Woods, be sure to check the Orange County Register as well as the Laguna Woods Globe.